talent. Um, usually the, the, the life force is usable for about two or three days after death. Um, and in that time uh, it is good if there is uh, if the, 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 the body of the, uh, of the person who died uh, is kept within the aura of a living being. So the auras of living beings they in a way keep out all kinds of energetic parasites and spirits because it's just our natural defense but a dead body doesn't have an aura or well it collapses very quickly. So just by sitting or sleeping or by being near the energy body uh, for a little while until the energy has decayed um, can be very helpful. And the decay of the energy body is very dependent um, on the decay of the physical body but also the, the quality of the spirit. So if the spirit is very skilled in reabsorbing the, the energies and reabsorbing the um, yeah, the, the energies which are still left in the body. Often awake doesn't have to be more than like six hours uh, before all the energy is transferred. But if the person is less skilled or less capable, um, then often awake might indeed take two, three and sometimes even four or five days. Uh, let me think what other right or wrong burial rites there are. Um, yeah, another one is, is indeed um, uh, placing the body in, in, uh, in a, a safe place. So um, uh, blessing the ground uh, or the, the chapel or wherever the body rests is very important. Um, also, um, uh, surrounding the grave with either uh, 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 metal or um, something else which in a way blocks other energies from moving through or moving in uh, is very helpful. You can also use certain plants like the, the taxes or the holly are very good at keeping away negative energies and preventing other energies from disrupting the body. Um, so a sprig of holly is also very good to place upon the body uh, to help it to, uh, to keep safe from all kinds of spirits and influences. Um, yeah, you've already mentioned the stone. Um, okay, wrong burial habits. Okay, wrong burial habits can be uh, too quick cremation um, because if the um, if the person is still very identified with the body and not ready to uh, or in a position yet to reabsorb all the energies which they might want to take with them some skills some knowledge some experiences which they've built up they might want to take them with them to the next life and if the body is immediately destroyed uh, then a large part of the experiences they wanted to take with them to the next life yeah they're also lost so by cremation you free the body of all the yeah or free the spirit of all the energies which are left in the body but you can also rob the spirit of all the energies which were still left in the body so it is very safe uh, the spirit will not become a wandering spirit because it has very little left to bind to to cling to so in one way you're helping them, but it might be at a cost because the person might have to build up a lot of the things again in the next incarnation instead of taking them with him or her. Um, other things which are wrong, as I said, are conserving the body. Uh, so there can be no decay or no transformational processes. So freezing it is generally not a very good idea. Um, other wrong things are in a way um, allowing the wrong people or spirits to, to get into contact with it too soon. Um, so if you do have like uh, spiritual enemies, uh, people who would like to curse you or to trap your spirit, um, then these people should be kept away from the body. Uh, and not given access to it and definitely not allowed to touch it. So um, 
except for the washing, there should be actually no touching of the of the body of the deceased, uh, because they are working with it. They're in their own process, and willingly or unwillingly, when people are touching it, uh, energies may flow into them. Um, so they might take up certain positive energies which the person had, and thereby rob them from use from the spirit so they cannot use them anymore in the next incarnation or they may deposit negative energies which they want to get rid of unconsciously into the body so that the yes, spirit gets burdened by other people's junk uh, so the body should be yeah really kept safe and as inviolate as possible um, so a certain yeah, screening is, is often wise because uh, the lack of life force and lack of aura uh, can also uh, make it very vulnerable to curses. Um, so, yeah. Mm. More wrong burial rites. Yeah, one of the, the the other things is also um, the energetic environment, of course. Um, so leaving a body in a place where there is a lot of negative energy, um, like for instance, uh, yeah, the police morgue where they bring bodies of people who have been murdered, or a hospital. Yeah, those are not ideal places to to keep bodies. It's usually better to take them home. Um, this is uh, much more ideal. Um, certain burial rites are yeah, like not taking out the body through the door um, or uh, not taking the same way back home, uh, going to the cemetery as returning from the cemetery and things like this. Uh, they can be done but they're not all that effective uh, unless the person is really primitive. They do help uh, negative energies or entities which are connected to the person from uh, pestering the, uh, the house. Uh, so they are better to observe than not, but for the person who died it's not extremely helpful uh, to observe these, uh, these traditions. Okay, um, well that was a rather long lesson and my throat is a bit sore so I will just pause a little bit for questions. So any more questions on specific burial rites or other things? No? Okay. Well, uh, thank you then very much for uh, your attention. And yeah, oh, there is something coming. Oh, okay, oh, thank you. So I think uh, next time I will then go either into uh, shamanism or into um, yeah, uh, working with um, the the egregores. So uh, we will meet again then on the first Thursday of uh, April, which I don't know from the top of my head what date it is and I don't have my agenda, but I'm sure you have agendas and you can figure it out. <laughs> okay. So well, thank you very much and good luck with helping the fellow humans who can get stuck for an awful long while. Okay. Thank you, Hanko. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.